um, a short garden update. These are the three zucchini plants that were sickly. I moved them over here with my other ones. These are the ones I had over here already. But the ones that are sick, that were sickly, they look a lot better. Also wanted to show you my, uh, we got a lot of rain the other day. Well, actually last three days. And, um, I had just watered. So, the too much water, I, they got, some of my plants got too much water. And they're suffering from it. Like this one, for instance. I'm hoping it comes back. I mean, it's still got, it's still got one good looking uh, stem on it, but the rest is just floppy. Just floppy. I don't know. Hey, at least my stuff ain't dying from the drought. That's a blessing. Um. We're getting some striped cavern tomatoes. Got a little bit of blossom, blossom and rot. But they're heirlooms, so I understand that's common in heirlooms. I'm gonna give it a little bit of more Epsom salt, see if that helps it. We'll see. Let me see if this other one has that. No. This one don't have that. Mm-mm. It's just this one. Now these are going to be good stuffing tomatoes. That's what the um, Strap Cavern are good for. They're good for stuffing. But this one ain't. Hmm. This is a cucumber plant. I never grew cucumber before, so this is my uh, experiment, I guess you could say. Now over here, I got some beans going. The only ones that really took off are these black eyed peas. I've already gotten some black eyed peas from them. I just let them dry in the pods because it's not really enough for a whole mess, you know. So I just dry them and collect them and let the let the other ones dry, and that's what we did. We'll store them away. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Willy Wonka with the camera. I noticed my teenager's been littering up the yard again. This one, this is my uh, cherry tomato. It's supposed to be black cherry tomato, but that ain't, that's not, that's not true. Uh, it's just regular cherry tomato. And like I said, it got overwatered. Uh, ready to harvest, but I'm just leaving them in there. Um, I'm, I've got a problem with hoppers. You know, the grasshoppers have been chowing down on a lot of my plants. I don't really know what to do to get rid of them. Look at there. I don't think he's eating that pepper, but they're, uh, they're through here quite thickly. But, um, I've used everything that I have on stock and nothing's helped. Ain't much to write home about. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that was gross. Sorry, y'all. I just uh, stepped over snake skin. That really worries me because I come out here at night to do my watering. I come out here at night to do my water and I'm so deathly afraid of snakes. 
and to see that just puts the fear right into me oh lord but I don't oh man all right I gotta get past it get past it okay all right here's my onions sorry folks here's my onions the grasshoppers have eaten the tops off of them but they're still growing seems to me that they are oh my goodness uh, I'm, I'm sorry um here's some more see that grasshoppers have been munching away I mean I don't mind sharing with critters but my goodness I, I don't like sharing with no snake oh lordy I gotta be careful of that when I come water okay here's my own my onions and look how whew, look how stocked up that uh pepper plant is just chock full you know um a few weeks back I was telling folks I was having problems and they said put Epsom salt alright I'm I'm back again I had to I'm having to reshoot some of this update because um I was holding the camera all wrong a while ago I try to turn it so you can see how tall things are and it just don't work like I'm thinking it's working so I go in I upload it I look at it and I'm like oh my I can't let it go like this but I wanted to show you what the grasshoppers have been doing to me doing to my plants they've just been eating the daylights out of these poblano peppers yeah, they think they taste pretty good. Now I was saying, Sissy Sue, on the Hillbilly Pripper Gals, she had a swarm of grasshoppers come and take hers out overnight. And luckily I've been blessed not to have a swarm, but the ones I do have, they're pretty darn pesky. And this is hard to look at. Just, uh, what are you going to do? I've used everything that I have stored. And nothing has helped. Now, they're not really bothering the um, jalapeno. Well, these are tan peppers. I believe that's a type of jalapeno. They're very mild. My husband doesn't like hot things, so I planted mild peppers this year. But, um... Yeah, they're tearing up my poblanos. There's some more poblanos. I gotta keep an eye out for that booger. Um, this is um another tam pepper plant, and they've been chewing on this one. This is another poblano. They've been munching on it. They're uh, pretty pesky. And our lawnmower broke, wouldn't you know it. So that doesn't help anything. You'd think they'd eat the grass and not the plants, but this is my tall material plant. It broke early on in the season because it's a storm, but it's still growing. I mean, it's huge. But it doesn't produce anymore. I'm probably going to um, pull it up when I do my fall gardening. When I start planting my fall plants. What I was telling you, what you missed on the other one is uh, my okra is starting to have blooms on it. Get off there. Anyway, um, so hopefully I'll be having okra pretty soon. I had seven original okra plants. Now I'm down to five. I lost the two down yonder. But, um, these three I planted early on and then a couple weeks later I planted these two so um, hopefully you know they'll start blooming and making okra before fall I mean it will you know in the fall before it gets too cold I'm hoping but yeah you didn't miss much I just uh, I'm showing you that I just had to redo it because I kept turning my camera so you could see how tall those poblano peppers was and 
It just uh, wasn't a smart thing to do. I don't really care for that dude being there. I'm going to have to get my husband to find a way to get this yard mowed. Somehow get these weeds knocked down so I can see where this snake is. I don't want to come upon him when I'm, when I'm out watering at night. But, yep, that's it. Ain't much to brag about. A few little tomatoes here and there. They're dry as a bone right now. I need to water them. Fix them and start doing my watering tonight. Well, I water every night, but I didn't water last night or the night before because it had rained. And they were already suffering from too much rain, so... I kind of gave him a day off getting water, but that's what I wanted to show you. Reshoot it so uh, you can see. I'm gonna put these two videos together and try to make one. Well, anyway, y'all be good. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Hope y'all are having a nice evening. Um, ain't much going on around here. Alright then. Come on. Toodles. See you later. Bye bye.